guys, welcome back. We are the authors of Kinetic. I'm Greg Heron. And I'm Laz Maddox. Today we're going to talk about metakinesis. <clears throat> or, in other words, phytokinesis. Or uh, biokinesis. Karyokinesis. Oh yes, karyokinesis. As made popular in the famous, world famous, Kinetic series. It's international. It is international. We're huge in Germany. And huge. South Germany. Yes, yeah, South River Middle School. Uh, shout out to South River Middle School. So, let's talk about it. Um, metakinesis, what are its strengths, its weaknesses, and what we would do with that power? Well, so. let's, let's explain what metakinesis is. It's, okay. uh, it's the ability to control the, what the molecules in your body to be able to change your, your mm -hmm. form. So, like, you can uh, manipulate your face um, to disguise yourself. Uh, you can, you know, change your arm into like a weapon or something like that. Kind, yeah. of, kind of like uh, Terminator 2, like the T-1000. Oh yeah, well we <laughs> talked about that in the other video. Um, yeah, you can make your, your skin harder or, you know, things of that nature. Yeah, you, you pretty much have control of the molecular structure of your body. Yeah, some people who are uh, famous for changing their appearance would of course be... There's Morph, Morph from X-Men. Of course, and there's, there's Mystique from X-Men. Mystique! Obviously. Um, there's a few other people who, you know, I'm sure we'll come up with a bunch as we do this and post at it like we always do. I'll flash a bunch of pic uh, pictures of people who pictures. have... Pictures. who have the power, so let's, uh, what else? Oh, uh, Vitakinesis. Vitakinesis. Let's talk about that. Um, obviously the world famous Wolverine. Wolverine. He has Vitakinesis. Uh, the Myriad from Kinetic. First Alliance and the rest of the Kinetic series. Uh, people who, I mean, they're just really hard to kill. <laughs> Deadpool. Deadpool. Um, uh, Deathstroke from the DC. He actually has some kind of... Does he? He does. I was watching it online. He does have uh, healing abilities. I feel like uh, some movies like touch upon Vitekinesis too. Like, um, can't think of any right now. <laughs> Welcome back to you. But like uh, characters like uh, in video games, Prototype, they Prototype. have... Uh, some kind of, he, they have metakinesis where he can control the, the you know, molecular structure of the body, change his arm into like this crazy organic blade and everything like that. That's right. Um, pretty much. What uh, about Colossus from X Men? Being that yeah, he turns, I, mean, I guess, right? right? He turns the skin into metal. Um, any soldier in the modern, you know, video game wars, all you, if you get shot in the face, all you have to do is duck behind some cover and you'll just heal yourself. Yeah. Oh yeah. Anything <laughs> Call of Duty or anything like that. The screen will flash red for a little bit, and then you just hide behind a car, and you're good. That's it. Um, so there are so many strengths to this power. I mean, um, other than I mean, some people can even create life. We were teetering around with the idea that our character uh, Dimitri Williams, who is in the Kinetic series, the cheerleader be... from Heroes. <laughs> oh yeah, Claire. 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 No, Claire, the cheerleader. She also has mitokinesis. Um, Want it. That was a good one. So Dimitri, he was going to be able to uh, actually turn his skin into like a, a hardened substance, rock, like rock or stone, or, but or anything like that. We decided against that because it's like, not really realistic. It's not. It's not. And as much as we love to bring the science and science fiction, we just thought that that was a little bit too far fetched. Um, what about some weaknesses? Um, pain. Like okay, you heal, but you still feel pain. Absolutely. And I mean, I feel like it's really captivating when, I forget where it was, but there was a character who had this phytokinesis where he could not die, but he actually wanted to. Like when you're immortal kind of like and Claire. you just, yeah, kind of like Claire where she was trying to hurt herself and it was just impossible. I mean, if your vitakinesis is that good, are you immortal? Like, do you just live forever? I mean, didn't, didn't Wolverine get literally ripped in two and all he did was just crawl to his lower half of yes. his body and just... the Hulk ripped him in half. It's hard to die if you, have, if you have good enough vitamins, it's hard to die. Yeah, also, um, a weakness would be if you can turn your skin into like a different substance. And that substance can either crack, break, or something else like that. There was uh, when Hulk went on World War Hulk, and uh, he was fighting Colossus. He actually snapped Colossus's metal arms the other way. And the only way to bend them back was Cyclops had to use his optic blast to kind of make the metal more malleable so they can bend it back into place, so. Why didn't you just go back to human and then pop it backwards? I don't know, apparently they said he couldn't because he stiff. I forget what the reason was, but uh, it was really cool. His arm would have exploded. Yes. <laughs> that. Um, so many different kinds of meta and biokinesis to choose from that there are a lot of limitations depending on which one you have and there are a lot of strengths depending on which I mean, one you have. I mean, a weakness to, to metakinesis, I mean, if you only have the ability to change your, your you know, the features of your body like Mystique, that's all you can do. 
Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you can get into the White House and pretend you're the president. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, I guess that's pretty good. But you, you can't do anything. Like, well, you can't like, really fight crime. Like You that. could copy that person's looks, but you couldn't copy their abilities. Remember when she turned into Wolverine in the yeah. first movie? Yeah. And she, they, they tried to clash, uh, like, claws. Like he just sliced her. <laughs> just sliced her. What was that? Was that her fingers? I like, don't know. This, can she make things that are her body? Like that doesn't that didn't make any sense. That was like weird. an illusion. It was really weird. But he was did. that part of her hair? And he just gave her a haircut? <laughs> yeah, right? Can you imagine? So real quick. Um, Thank God I didn't use my fingers. I used my hair. Pick one. Vita, um, bio, meta, karyo. I would probably go with karyo because you can do the more the most with it. Mm. Um, you can heal yourself. You can change uh, your body <clears throat> structure. Like if you wanted to be slimmer, you could just be like. Yeah. If you want to be stronger, you just bulk up. Um, even though the, the the vitakinesis side of karyokinesis, like the healing yourself side, is really, 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 really watered down, you could still heal, heal yourself. So like if you get shot in the face, you know, you'll probably die, but you'll probably come back to life because you'll heal yourself eventually. Yeah, I'm going to go with vitakinesis. You're going to go with vita? Like, yeah, like real good vita? Really good vita. They see that Deadpool's vitakinesis is actually better than Wolverine's. Yeah. Um, so I might go with that and I'll just try to live for as long as humanly possible. So that's what we would do with the different branches of meta and biochemistry. But that's just us. What would you do? That's Comment what we below. Really want to know. Guys, what would you do? Um, let us know. We, we'd love to hear from you guys. So, um, anything else? Uh, we'll be bringing you some, some newbie stuff uh, mm -hmm. next week or the week after with uh, some, some different genres. Maybe some movies, maybe some books, maybe some video games, yeah. maybe some... Comic books. Maybe we'll talk about the new uh, Marvel Universe ending with uh, Secret Wars. Little spoiler alert right yeah. there. Maybe we'll talk a little bit about that and how people are feeling about that whole big thing. But until next time, thank uh, you for watching. I'm we'll Greg Raymond, and I'm Laz Mash. See you next time. Later.